Well, first of all, uh, I really want to thank Lamar Corman and the work that he put in. Uh, he was fantastic with uh, every single visit that we had, and he was over there uh, getting guys excited about uh, photo shoots and uh, just the excitement of what they can do on social media. And uh, if you take a look at our graphics on uh, the signing day today, you're going to see his work out there. And uh, I couldn't be more excited about just uh, the pride that he takes in what he does and just how excellent it is. And so we're really thankful for Lamar, and he keeps this thing going at a very high level and, and really helps us out in the recruiting as well. Uh, National Signing Day, 22 guys, four transfers, uh, either mid-year or, or will join the team in, in, in the preseason. How do you feel about this class? Uh, and, and that, and we'll go on to the second question about what was sort of your your uh, emphasis going in and what you, the kinds of things you were looking to fill. Yeah, well, I feel extremely good and very pleased about uh, how this class came together. Started out really you know a little bit slow in the beginning uh we were coming down to the last couple of weeks and uh it, sometimes it can kind of have that effect and you don't know how it's going to shake out in those last couple of weeks and all of a sudden the last uh 10 days or so it really picked up and we got uh, a very well-rounded class i think that's really the theme of it um we were looking for uh, guys at every position and to try to fill uh, just the quality of depth that we need. And so uh, looked at uh, a lot of different guys, evaluated a lot of guys uh, since December and visited with a lot, had a lot on campus. And uh, these 22 freshmen here today uh, that signed were the ones uh, that we really liked. Uh, they were the right ones and the ones that uh, are, I think, have a great opportunity and experience in front of them. Let's talk about your class a little bit. You, you run it down. You got a, a, a plethora of, of trench guys. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I got six defensive linemen, five offensive linemen, including the transfers and the mid-year additions. It, 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 looking at the class, there's your emphasis. How do you feel about how you filled those two very, very important areas? Yep. I think uh, what we've learned in recruiting is that you can never have enough good big bodies. And uh, if, if there's someone that you're looking for, they can move, they can do some things on film that are attractive, a lot of different schools are going to be on them. And so... Uh, being able to get quality numbers. Uh, we try to pride ourselves on making sure that we're not gonna stretch on guys uh, in that uh, we're gonna dip our standard down below what it needs to be to help us be successful. And so I think we really did that and that we stuck to the standard. Uh, there's guys that need to develop, of course, and yet uh, we were able to fill those two on each side of the ball, O-line, D-line, uh, with good numbers and good big bodies. The other thing that stood out to me as I'm going through your class, you got uh, some local guys. Uh, uh, it seems more local than uh, local, including the Wilmington and then all the surrounding areas around here. But it seems that you got a, a, a good number of guys coming from the local areas as well, which I know is always an important emphasis for you guys. Absolutely. Uh, it is something where we start right here in Robinson County and – uh, then we just branch out from here and and basically uh, we treat recruiting uh, in the distance that it is from campus and uh, we try to draw a line of probably about five hours uh, in excess you know on the far end but uh, we will always start right here close to home and make sure that we're covering ground as we move outwards and uh, yeah I think Locally, you can find some really good players, and there were some good guys this year, and um, had a lot of local guys on campus, even though some of them did not sign uh, for different reasons. But um, we had a lot of kids on campus that uh, were very good from the area this year. And you got a lot of skill position guys, two wide receivers, two running backs. Uh, you got an athlete, um, quarterback. Where – was your focus with the skill positions going in? What was your immediate needs, and, and where did you uh, sort of place a higher emphasis on? I think start with the quarterback. Um, we're in a position right now where our quarterback class status is very healthy, and you've seen it. Everybody's seen it uh, at the higher levels where a lot of quarterbacks end up and just shuffle themselves all around because. 
Um, maybe they're not the guy on the field, right? And the quarterback is the single position out there that is one singular guy that's playing. And uh, it's hard to keep guys. It's hard to keep guys with the vision of seeing the future and seeing them develop. And so right now we've got uh, a really good quarterback situation with Sam coming in and being able to develop and you know of course josh is here colin is here and uh we look forward to being able to put sam right in the mix and uh throw him in there and and see how it shakes out over the course of the next year few years uh but from a quarterback situation i mean the next five six years we feel like we are in a great great setup and it's sort of a good segue and i'll skip ahead a couple questions uh, what's interesting about this class is you have two younger brothers coming in. Mm -hmm. um, both younger brothers are quarterbacks. Yeah. Uh, Sam Jones, obviously the, the younger brother, Josh Jones, and then Landon Johnson, although he doesn't play the same position as mm -hmm. his younger brother, younger brother, Colin Johnson, the quarterback. Uh, what kinds of, I, I guess from a recruiting perspective, what kinds of not only attends our games over the last three years or, or whatnot, but how much does that play in that, hey, my older brother plays for mm -hmm. Well, here, here's what ultimately uh, you're kind of asking and the answer is, is they have tremendous uh, pedigree in terms of where they come from, uh, their character, their families. I've sat in both of their homes uh, already and went back to both of them this year again and was able to sit down and um, great people I mean that that's really where it starts and uh, they've been raised the right way and um, it's it's helped them in their uh, endeavors as being great students and being great football players and just being great fits for who we are and so obviously when they have older brothers on the team they get a first-hand look at what they're getting themselves into and uh, that's created a good recruiting tool in and of itself and so once we kind of come into the picture it it's a little bit of the icing on top. And you, look, you, you focused a little bit uh, also uh, a handful of guys, specialists, uh, special forces, yeah. a couple kickers, a couple punters, got a long snapper. Uh, where was your emphasis there? Well, if I had to say, I think the highlight of the class is the specialists overall. Right. Um, it's, it's a group that sometimes gets overlooked. Uh, it's a group that sometimes gets neglected. Oh, we can find, uh, you know, a guy any time to kick or to punt or, you know, I, I don't think that's the case. And, and it is a real position on the football field that you have to account for. And this year we wanted to really boost that group. And I think, you know, you're only going to be as good on special teams as what your guys that uh, are going to be able to kick and punt the ball are going to be and snap and, you know, all the things that, operationally deal with the ball and so we had to make sure that we had quality guys uh, that were going to be in that position here for the next few years and I think we definitely got them with uh, you know with Damian and McKinley and with Peyton and with Matt those four guys um, that I'm so excited about working with them. Now uh, sort of going off the guys that you signed today how, how are the the transfers uh, you got a couple of defensive linemen you got an offensive lineman got a tight end how have they the guys that are here the mid-year guys and the guys that are coming how have the mid-year guys already taken to the program mm -hmm. and how do you expect these four guys to help you now that they already have college experience yeah so uh, justin at d line uh david o line and then you have Duran uh, at D-line as well, and then Ivan at tight end. Those guys have come in, and they have worked, and they have fit in very well. And as a coaching staff, we've been out there and been able to evaluate some workouts. Uh, we have some early morning workouts where it's pretty difficult and rigorous, and uh, to see those guys go through and to watch them move and to watch them push themselves uh, has been really good so far. And so we're getting a lot of good reports back from – Coach Manny and his staff, and uh, we have very high hopes for them. It always is an advantage to get here in the springtime, right? And so that's why you see a lot of these colleges, if they can get high schoolers to enroll early, uh, it does put them ahead of the game so that by the time fall comes, they're a little bit more acclimated. The tough thing about college football is uh, we overlook this sometimes, but 
we expect freshmen to come in uh, in August and then, you know, be able to make that transition very smoothly. Well, they're getting hit with college football fall training camp, which is new in and of itself. All of a sudden, school starts, and that's a new transition in and of itself. And you're in the middle of a season. You're, you're getting ready for a season to play. And so it's all just slapped right in their face, and it's hard to really step up right away. With these guys being here a semester prior to a season, great advantage for them for sure. Plans now that uh, you and I talked uh, off camera beforehand, now that your back can start to heal and you can not having to spend as much time on the road, what are sort of the plans over the next couple of months? I know you're looking for, to fill a hole in your staff uh, and you got spring ball to start up. You know, what are sort mm -hmm. of the plans? For you both personally and, and for your coaching staff. Yeah, well, I, I want to start off and say this year, um, I feel like I actually enjoyed recruiting a lot. And I think it's because all the homes I went into, uh, the guys that we dealt with, they were just a pleasure and, and the right guys that we were on. And, and they were they were great character guys. And when you have guys that you don't have to spend a lot of time uh, figuring out the flaws and, you know, riding the fence of, oh, do we take a chance on this guy or don't we? Uh, it makes it that much more smooth. And so I, I really enjoyed the recruiting cycle this year. I thought we had a great plan from the get-go, and our coaches did a fantastic job of uh, being able to seal all these up today. Uh, but now, you know, it's kind of a funnel effect. You start out big and you start to work down to where you get kind of streamlined and you're very specific now. And so um, now, uh, you know, the roster is actually very full. <laughs> you know, it's a good problem to have. Uh, we've talked about uh, there will be some walk-on type guys that we will add, uh, but we don't have a lot of space. And so uh, we like the guys that are already here. Uh, now we will go into a time of development. And it's something that we talk about in recruiting is we are a development program. And we want high school guys to come in. We want to develop them so that in their third, fourth, fifth years, they're going to be ready to really play at a high level. And that's what we'll focus on now. We'll have about another five to six weeks of training before we get ready to go into spring ball. And I'm um, really looking forward to just interacting with our players. I really miss them, actually. Um, was out there on Monday morning in their workout with them, and uh, it just it was a good feeling to get back into coaching mode a little bit. And so uh, we wear a lot of different hats. So I'm going from kind of salesman mode, uh, not that I have to uh, put on a fake salesman uh, persona or anything. Uh, there's a lot to be sold that's really good, uh, but that's kind of what recruiting is can be related to. And now going back into really development mode and, and digging into our guys and being able to get them where they need to be to improve this spring. And um, we have a lot of things that we talked about from the fall that we need to emphasize. And I'm really looking forward to just really getting those guys back into the groove of things and, and playing and practicing for some football. I think, you know, personally, um, it's good. It, recruiting doesn't stop. You got to go back and recruit your family now. And so, um, but it, it's good. It, it, this does signify that we have some time that will go into a normal schedule. And, you know, we all work hard, you know, all the time. But uh, recruiting is intense. The season is intense. And those, those two butt right up next to each other. And so now it, it'll be a little bit more where you can focus on some other things. Um, it's a development time of year. It's a time of year where uh, we can take some time to do some extra things to keep ourselves balanced. Um, and I think that's healthy for everybody, and I'm looking forward to doing that. Last spring, if you remember, we had to play a season, and so yeah. we didn't get this. We haven't had this for two years, and so uh, I'm looking forward to getting back to it. And this is where you can learn more as a coach, too. You spend time with other coaches to try to um, enhance your personal development growth, and uh, it, it'll be great. But looking forward to watching my kids play basketball a little bit more right now, and um, baseball season will be around the corner, and golf season, and all of that so uh ready for warm weather that's for sure yeah. and um you know it, it's a good time of year it's really it's a really exciting time right now for the the braves and everybody in the program um we are adding some new coaches and so 
that's also been a, a major source of my time that's yeah. been spent here over the past month or so. And um, to get those guys on board and get them rolling uh, will be really, really fun to just add to the staff and uh, get our team acquainted with them. And um, just excited about where we are right now all together. Well, Coach, congratulations on signing day, and mm -hmm. uh, thanks for taking the time. Yeah, thanks a lot, Todd.